give people hints. Because mm-hmm. I don't want you to start acting different once you see <laughs> who you're sitting next to. So I gave hints before. I told you. That's why you had to get your butt up and move two seats over. This was the interview I've been waiting for. And then my personal friend brings him in, who I love so much. He made me cry on live interview. I was getting interviewed. You know, I don't do too many interviews. He comes into the building and makes me cry because I'm so proud of you. Can you please tell everybody who you are? Because you're an actor as well. How you, how you doing? I'm on who styling who. Finally! Can we get some gut shots? Sorry. You did. You did. <laughs> my, name, my name is Marquan Smith, actor, executive producer, creator. Um, handsome gangster with the thick eyebrows. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and tell them what you have going on now, because you have... Uh, right now, I presently have a uh, show that took me 18 years to uh, initiate and create called The Godfather of Harlem. Because they were like, you can't just leave us hanging like that. And um, in in TV, there's a there's a protocol. You just don't spend a hundred million dollars and say, okay, I'm gonna spend a hundred million dollars more. They just have to get the numbers and make sure all the al- algorithms were correct. And um, we did good. We were one of the highest. We are the highest rated show on Epics. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Ooh. It's like when he made it, when the show aired. It's like I felt like I made it. Just I like binged it. it. That's, just, that's how I watched that. I didn't watch the regular season because mm-hmm. I, I want to see. Yeah. I like to sit back and you get it more like yep. that one hour a week. I, ah, no, I can't do it. I binged it and it was. I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah, it was. It was fire. I watched it faithfully weekly because he's my friend and I had to make sure the numbers came in. <laughs> and then I binge watched it and every time a person comes around me, I make them watch it. And when I found out season two was happening, I did a whole dance in my bra and panties. I was like, yay! Yay! Nice. <laughs> he it. You, mister. I've been waiting for you. And now that I have you here, who's do you have a stylist? No. Yep, we're friends. Uh-oh. I got a new client. <laughs> he, don't even, he don't even know it. I'm about to send you some product. I am the product placement queen. That's okay. what I specialize in. That's I did, cool. didn't know if you guys were exactly coming, so I wasn't prepared. But now we're friends. We're together. So send me your sizes. Your Copy. package Copy. will be ready for you Wednesday before you leave. They okay. said they didn't have your sizes. What the... Uh, labels that you wanted, the particular colleges that you wanted? Oh, we just came from there. Yeah. So what did they say? They, they, you know, I, I blessed them and showed them love. Chris oh, Latt- so you bought Chris, something. Yeah, Chris Lattimore. Okay. But, you know, if I can get yeah, some more, that'd be, that'd be fun too. Instagram. Well, that was my whole, my pitch to them. So We you could just, get some different colors. We, yeah, you know, you can't get us some more. Like, you can show us some more love, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well that's <laughs> nice. I love people who support. So what made you interested in that brand? Because you've been in the game for a long time, and you're, uh, you're a fashion dude. So you love polo yeah. and different things, brands I, I like think, that. I think because I went to the HBCU, mm-hmm. and um, historical black colleges has always been something I could say that helped me in my journey. Mm-hmm. And it just brought me back to the times of like Martin and uh, living single when they were wearing those sweatshirts and stuff like that. So I was like, I like retro stuff. I like stuff that feels good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff right now, it seems like too manufactured and real, like, kinky and crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why I, I, I did, like, the African-American Legion's brand. So, will we be getting any fashion from you? Because you've been in the industry for a long time, and now you're on the other side of the market. Has anyone approached you to do some branding? Um, I, just, I just got, I just did a photo shoot for a company called Trefor. Oh, okay. Shirts. 
So they gave me some shirts. We we got four nominations um, for the NAACP Image Awards. Woo! So um, I'm going out to LA. I'll be out there for uh, a few days. What are you wearing? Uh, are you doing a suit? Black jeans, blonde. They do that that that, that okay. golf stuff, right? Try for Golf stuff too? Uh, nah, they just, they're a shirt brand. Just shirts? Yeah, they're a shirt brand. But like I said, I like anything that's fly. You know what I'm saying? Anything that's, that's, that's dope and, and it makes you feel like you're an adult. You're not like a little kid running around with like, you know, balloons and ice cream. <laughs> ice cream cones all over you. You know what I'm saying? So. Same question for you. You've been in the industry for a very long time. So you've seen a couple of stylists and worked on sets and. What's your fashion? What's in your closet? Because I'm a celebrity fashion stylist, so I love to know what's in men's closet. Sure. I guess it, it changes for me a lot. You know, whatever I feel that year, you know. And um, okay. I mean, I, I wasn't ever. Well, I, I, not that I wasn't ever, but recently I've been like a lot on polo, you know. And I wasn't really that guy that was always about polo, yeah, you know. Man. But I love like I feel like they have a lot for different. Occasions, you know, not just the regular polo sport or like whatever, the, but they had the, they could get some really dressed up stuff too. You could get real classy mm -hmm. or you could dress down. So I, I like a lot of this stuff. I mean, I like H&M, stuff like that. What's so, your take on gray sweatpants? What's my take on gray sweatpants? Do you sweatpants? wear them? Or you have a girlfriend and you're allowed to wear them? <laughs> I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I like to wear gray sweatpants. Yeah, I have a record, nice that's why. And I, I have a gray sweatpants challenge. So everyone that comes on my show, I ask them if they wear gray sweatpants. Oh, yeah. With the gray hoodie. Great. So I'll be <laughs> saying, what size are you? I have a brand uh, that I work uh, with, Original uh, Dawn uh, Clothing. Uh, so I would love to send you a sweatsuit. What size are you going by these days? Oh, <laughs> these days. <laughs> <laughs> these days. Uh, I mean, because you know. It's the fit for It's the fit. It's Some it's people, you know. Like, I used to dress a lot differently when I was yeah, a kid. Exactly. Now I'm a grown-ass man, yeah. you know, so it, it yeah. all changed. I, I still look back and say, damn, I clean wore that 5X t-shirt. That yeah, looked like the dress. It looked like the dress, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the 90s are back, uh, but for some reason the jeans just won't yeah, go back to baggy. It's yeah, very nah, into a sure. fitted. Not at all. Yeah. If you could change anything in these eras, what would you change? In this era right yeah, now? Yeah, in this era right oh, now. All them big ass orthopedic shoes that people be wearing. <laughs> it's just like great pads, man. <laughs> oh, no, that and then, nice and then nice. feet lies turned it into a brand and the heel is like this thick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what's so funny is we used to get teased about for certain styles that are now $600 and six. Seven hundred dollars, which leads me to believe that we, as a people, we just don't have our own minds. We just follow trends, and every trend is not for you, ladies and gentlemen. If you listen to the Who Style and Who Show and take anything from my show, just because it zips doesn't mean it fits, and just because it looks good on other people and it really doesn't look good, you just want to follow the trends. Be different, dare to be different, support a different brand. Put, I like to see people in general rock something that they would never rock. Like yeah. That's why when you said you do H&M, I don't really look for labels. I look for style. Yeah. Yeah. I like Zara. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But Zara, you know what's so crazy about the... When I say the Zara man, most people who wear Zara really always wore Zara. From like the original Zara. Yeah. The new people who wear Zara shop on clearance. It's just, I'm just. Mm. I just like that. I like different pieces. Like yeah. I, could, I could go to Saks and and, and Birdoff and Barney's, but I can go to H and M too. I don't think everything has to be label driven. You know what I'm saying? You could have a fly pair of shoes on, the sneakers, whether it be some Gucci shoes on and some dope H and M sweatpants or some Balmain or Balmain sweatshirt. You know. But the way the women dress nowadays be killing me, man. It's, it's What's your if you could change one thing about some of the women's fashion, what are you ready to see go? Um, women that try to fit the, the, the state of Texas and New York. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your feet is too big to put in a size. You, you wear a size 12 and you wear a size 10 and then your feet be hanging off. Oh, so you don't like the shoes like, over your, your, nah, over your that's, feet? That's, that's like, crazy. Don't, you know, your toes ain't supposed to be... Gripping the cement while you're walking, you know. Uh, uh, well, well, I agree. Uh, oh, she, she I agree. Spoken. If your toes are too long, just don't even. 
close the toes. Don't leave the open toes. I'm all for women showing their feet, but I feel like not dan- if they're not cute. But not see, but then you, you're judging a woman who's a dancer who can't help it. Like their feet are just help tore it by up. Closing the shoes on. They gotta wear. <laughs> Cover that up. Yeah, with Uggs in the shower. Look, I got a butt. I'm not over here wearing shit that's tight around my stomach. You know what I'm saying? Tighten the boobs. Loosen the stomach. That's where was good for your body. If hey, your listen. feet are crazy, I'm you still reaming. I'm still yeah, reaming off the. Gr- I'm still <laughs> reaming off the girl who fell 15 feet from the oh, pole. Oh my god! Yeah. I don't even know what her toes look like, but I'm just happy wow. that she has to get off the pole. Oh, wow! <laughs> but you literally. know what? Let me say something. If I felt like that, I would not keep throwing it back. I mean, good no, she broke her jaw. Her jaw got wired. But I was looking. The reason why I brought that up is because. When she fell, she just kept dancing that's and her okay. shoe and her feet. That's why when you said something, her, I was like, well, does it go in, does it apply in that case when you fell 15 feet and then your feet, you don't know if that's you broke your I, toes, that's her feet happened. were like over her shoe. So I was just like, in that case, we give her the pass because yeah, she just fell See, 15 now, if feet. She, she would, if she would have went to the army reserves... <laughs> I mm-hmm. worked at McDonald's and three jobs or something. It would not have happened. You remember that uh, Woody Woodpecker commercial? Mm-hmm. If Woody would have went to the police, this would have never happened. You know what I'm saying? But let's talk about acting, ladies and gentlemen, so, since I have an actor in the building. you have any projects that you want to talk about? Anything going on that you wait, want Which to, actor are you talking about? We're going to go on and looking at <laughs> right in the here. eyes, too. Well, we know um, what he's doing. We just, he got renewed for season yeah, two, well, and he's well, going I'm, I'm to L.A. On getting on Godfather. I know. Father, how does that you know work when you have a friend... When you have, since your, your show came out, as everyone now, like, yo, how can I get a role? Because you know a lot of people. People don't really, people don't realize, like, because you drive a bus, that means you're supposed to let everybody on the bus for free. Like, mm-hmm. I don't have any, I had to audition for my role. Me and him, we work together. Like, this is my, this is one of my best friends. Like, when I do, when I do self-tapes, he supports me. When he does self-tapes, I support him. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I had to fight to get to where I was at. Like, when you have a production, it becomes territorial. Casting take care, takes care of casting. Production takes care of production. Wardrobe takes care of wardrobe. Makeup takes care of makeup because there are union, there are union rules, there are union laws, there are all kinds of stuff that comes up within a production. Checks you know and I'm balances. Saying? It's checks and balances, absolutely. So, yeah, you know, everybody, their mother say, yeah, can I do this, can I do that? And... They're not realizing, like, that's totally out of my control. That's why these people, that's out of my pay grade. That's why these people get paid for doing what they're doing. I have a particular role. I have to research, make sure everything is good. I'm an EP on the project as well as an actor on the project, so I have to research my my character. But if there's things that I, I hear, like little birds whispering in my ear, I'll be like, well, Sean, this is coming out. Maybe tell your agent to find out what this is about and put yourself on tape. You feel what I'm saying? That's but it's no, it's no favoritism. Trust me, it's not. <laughs> Have you written an, anything? No, I haven't written anything, but I, I've, uh, I went to film school. So, you know, I'm trying to get into the behind the scenes stuff now. Because for me, it's always been the acting. But, you know, I'm like, you know what? I got to start creating also. So, you know, I'm actually working on... Uh, it's not something that I created, but it's a, another partner of, of ours who's a writer. Uh, he wrote it and wanted me to be the lead of it. It's a short film. Mm-hmm. So we're waiting to see what happens with that. Going to try to do all the festivals yeah. and all that. But that's kind of what I'm, I just wrapped that yesterday. So, you know, just trying to get behind the scenes yeah. and create, make your own link. You yeah. know, I mean, that's kind of what he's, what he did. You know it's, what about, it's about creating your own platform, creating your own destiny. Don't wait for an opportunity to knock on your door because mm-hmm. if it doesn't knock, go to Home Depot, buy some lumber, and build your own door. You have to do that. You know, I, t- I look at what Issa Rae did when she did the awkward black girl to Insecure. I look at what Lena Waite did with Masters of Mental, where they're at right now. You have to create your own platform. I got a thousand no's before I got one yes. So you're going to sit back and keep letting people say no. You're going to go out there and build your own platform. And, but, you know, it's about, it's about struggle, you know. It's about not eating some nights. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people aren't built for that. They look at your your breakthrough and they don't know what you've been through. Exactly. I mean, a lot of people feel like 
I mean, from the outside looking at it, think, oh, you did one movie, you on. And it's not really like that. You no. gotta, it's a grind every time. Yeah, you got to prove yourself every time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you kind of got to change with the times, just like fashion. <laughs> but, you know, it's just like every time you go in, you got to show what you got. Think about a job that you get fired every six months. Right. And you got to try to get fired again. That's what, that's what acting is. Or you gotta say, yo, is there any roles coming out you could put me on or whatever like that? <laughs> so you create your own job. You feel what I'm saying? Indeed. You just keep it going. Would you do reality TV? Yeah. He said, he said that you, you need to explore that because he said it. No, too I just, quick. No, I, I was, just, I was gonna let him elaborate. I don't even watch. <laughs> you know, I don't watch too much TV. Okay. But I just really don't watch that. You know, I've. I've I just come from a different time, even though. And what time is that? Explain to I'm us, because you've been in the game. Yeah, I've been in the game for a, a long, long time before that was even a thing. So it's just mm-hmm. like, how I'm old, old are you? The, I'm old. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yeah, you think I'm? Well, how old do you think I? Am? Let's play know, name that guess. Call me up three four seven seven two one three one six one. Like if you guess his age, like thirty. Two. If you guess his age, I'll give you guys a starter jacket. <laughs> Who's styling who? Google Fresh, the movie when it came out. Well, but everybody... even in that, they thought I was younger than I was, you know? But this I just hot. Google Fresh, <laughs> then Google The Corner, right? Both when those debuted, and then you're an actor. He's like Bianca, who plays roles. Bianca, what's her name? Lawson? Did I say? Uh, t- uh, Beyonce's sister in law. 1994. No, how old were you in that movie? Now you ask that question. So, how old were you in 1994? I mean, that'll just give it away, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm the math. oldest person in this room, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I'm not ashamed to tell. I'm 53, and I'm the oldest one in here. Well, you, don't well, you know, I'm not yeah. saying my age. Because well, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm an actress. Yeah, I'm trying to get I'm typing. Sure. <laughs> I know, I know who you are. Indeed, <laughs> so. indeed. Now I was um, when we shot Fresh, I was thirteen. And now we're in two thousand and twenty. Ninety-four. No. <laughs> so you're not that much older than me, 1994. I know. I just you, you look you're good. Black doesn't crack. Young. You're okay. in your thirties. Late thirties. So, do you hate when people always address you as I'm not your? Before. <laughs> do in you? <a> few months. <laughs> do you hate when people just address you as your corner role? That doesn't happen. It doesn't. No, I mean, I, actually, I'm not gonna say that. It's because it is a lot of. Oh, they know me from fresh. They know me from the wood. They know me from the corner. But I don't hate when it's like, oh. I just know you like the I Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite character? Nah, I wouldn't say I have a favorite out of all of them. Um, I think for me, it's like my first one is like you know your that's kind of like yeah, it's like wow, this is what kind of started everything, mm-hmm. and that would be fresh. You know, um, I didn't know what was gonna happen from that. You know, I just thought, oh, I'm doing a movie, and I'm star. This is cool. You know what I mean? But it kind of, I think it wasn't when it came out that it got the accolades. It was more so over time, people. It became like a cult classic, you know, and people realized what it was. I know, you know when I first saw it, and I saw it again, I got a better understanding yeah, when I got see, older. Maybe the first time, like, yeah, what, just what's going on? Why yeah, are they talking like this? Yeah, and then <laughs> I saw you one day just walking down the street, and I you always, did? yeah, just randomly, and I'm like, he's so humble. Like, you just were walking, he and just walks down he the just street. walks down the street. <laughs> I'm like, and then I'm just like, why didn't I say something to him? Why did I, you know? So then I, I DM'd you and I was like, I have a radio show. And you're like, yeah, sure, just email me. And then I winded up emailing you. And you were supposed to come to the Who's Styling Who show. But I hmm. feel like everything happens for a reason. So I have you here now. One of my my acting crushes. <laughs> my actor crushes. <laughs> um, I loved you in the wood because I loved all the other actors. You, you get what I mean? So I was watching I mean, it. You could have said that different. But but, no, know. I'm being honest. <laughs> let me tell you. So when I, I didn't even know you were in the movie until I watched yeah. it in the beginning. So yeah. then I'm like, he's in the movie. Yeah. So how was working Yeah, I mean, as they, they promoted it, it was more so about... Uh, the older guys. Yeah. But, I feel like most of the movie was when we were young. When they yeah, were so I didn't know? understand. So they kind of, they were the names, you know, so they promoted it that way. But um, I, I think for me, a lot of people feel like, and maybe I kind of feel like too, the wood was more so my personality. Oh, okay. Real life, you know, like okay. how I kind of am 
as opposed to the other characters. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we had a good time doing that, went out to L.A. And what was funny was it was kind of like that in real life because I was the new guy. I wasn't from L.A. And the two other guys are from L.A. And we kind of just built off of that. Mm. Are you single? Uh, what? <laughs> what? No, that, that means no. That means no. That always means no. That means, that means no. she can't say. When it's single, it's an immediate yes. I'm single. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Immediately, yes, yeah. I'm single. Yeah. When it's no, it's. Yeah. I asked that for the questions yeah. in my book, Dictator. Yeah. Why? Yeah. That's what? chapter 12. Drink, What's this? Yeah. That's chapter 12 of this era. Marquardt, are you single? Yeah, I'm, I'm Muslim. <laughs> Do you feel like now that you have a TV show, all the exes came back to tell you why they? You know, see, think, so there's one thing about me. I'm a Scorpio. I, oh, right. Oh, no, 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 I forgot oh, about. Oh, damn, y'all yes. like it's an exorcist oh. because Scorpios are. You know, we have this whole segment about signs. What sign oh, are you? Wow. I'm a Taurus. <gasps> I knew it! I'm a right. Taurus. Everybody, everybody hates Scorpios. I'm a Taurus. April Taurus or May Taurus? My daughter's a Scorpio. April or May. My granddaughter's a Scorpio. My father's a Scorpio. So, y'all good people, but when y'all get that, that, when you're that little dirt under your fingernail, oh my god. That little dirt under your fingernail. Because we're loyal. We're, we're, we're loyal, like, we're loyal to, like, our demise. That's yeah. And when they don't mess with you, they don't mess with it's you. Rap. It's a oh, yeah. over. I call yeah. my brother the Incredible Hulk because you wouldn't like him when he's angry. <laughs> yeah. That's a Scorpio. They're nice. But so Taurus be the best, loyal, best lover you'll ever have. Sidebar on that okay, one. Yeah. Like, it's going up. They do say Scorpios are freaks, though. That is what they say about Scorpios. Scorpios are <laughs> very sexual. Scorpios are very... as Well, a yeah, Scorpio nasty. man is very sexual. They're nasty. They're, nasty. they're, nasty. they're, nasty. they're, nasty. they're very <laughs> into some nasty. things. Nasty. Yeah, they don't do anything. anything. But only if, if they... If they feel it. But if they like you. If they if feel it. Nasty, bro. Is it true? Well, nasty. Nasty. True? Nasty. Nasty. we have a Scorpio in the building. What what does it take for you to you be sexual? <laughs> That's are, are you nasty? <laughs> I can't say nasty. that for you. Nasty. You're nasty. He's like, yo, what's the Well, next well they're not going to answer these questions because they Listen, are. I, t- I talked to with one Scorpio someone. and he already was like, I will eat your butt immediately. Oh. Like not even you don't even know my middle name. You know, you know what I mean? Are you talking about that? Oh my god! Stop Mr. Me. Sean is being being. Not quiet. everybody wants you to eat their booty. <laughs> stop offering, gentlemen. Stop offering that shit. Like it's nah, like it's cool. dinner. Okay. Cool. Stop offering it. If you don't know somebody's <laughs> whole government, don't say you're gonna eat their ass, please. Nah, Here at the Who Style and Who Show, this is the <laughs> hour where we just. Say whatever the hell we want yeah, to say. Like Stop that. offering me booty. Yeah. Next, Stop offering to Stop. eat booty, ladies Stop. and gentlemen. Yeah, next on the show, the two-hand twist combo. Oh. oh. What's that? <laughs> Educate. <laughs> See, we told you we had an OG in here. So what you know about that? She Girl, said her age. That's grown. That's seasoned in here. <laughs> Damn. Stop doing that. I'm like, yo, what's happening? What I'm doing Every Every man enough for you to put your hands around it though. I know. Shout out to the, got a two finger twist. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the smallie malls. You know, they're we love you too. But that everyone's not a smallie malls. Smallie malls. But shout out to the cockasauruses. The ones that don't get the gray sweats. The ones that don't get the gray sweats. Yeah. The ones with the gray the cockasaur, If my man got a cockasaurus, he can't wear gray sweats. And if he has an octopus, he's staying home. And if he has a horse dick, he is not allowed out the house. Yeah. What? I'm not allowed that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a, I got an ankle bracelet right now. I'm a home confinement. I'm not that girl. We had this conversation earlier. Like girls to be telling too much. You be telling God. You be telling your business way too much. If you have a good lover, keep that shit to yourself. yourself. Yeah. Don't be running out here. Oh, I love him. Oh, putting him on social media. I'm with it. Don't tell nobody about me. Keep me hidden. Cause the minute you post me. You're coming. Girls are foul. Like I'm a female myself, but I know <laughs> what women are capable. I know and you're we, female. we. I mean, you know, you gotta, Listen, you gotta say you, that nowadays because some of these female. females be looking way better than me. I'm like, how did they get there? You know, like 
<laughs> a bitch can look better than you, but a bitch will never be better than me. So at the end of the day, if that can tempt you, I don't want you. Get out. Get out of my life. You, if that's good for you, if I'm not enough for you, then you can go. go uh, that I'm always, I, I always beg to differ with that because guys <laughs> go through emotional things. Like It's like us. Like When we get our periods, so when a guy cheats, I, don't, I always want to know. How invested you were with the female. Cheating is one thing, but having a whole separate relationship, you're taking this bitch to dinner, you're talking to her on the phone. I mean, no, nowadays girls is not cheating without a meal. Like, you have to, like, you know, feed me before. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we went left, but it's all about Mr. Sean Nelson and Mark Hansmith. When you didn't answer a single, all the people on the lives, they were like, well, ask this and do this. And they wanted to know why you weren't. Saying certain things. I'm going to sit down now. I'm just going to take this interview. On? We're going to take this interview. <laughs> this orange juice, I think. Did you? Did yeah. we put anything? <laughs> the vitamin. She started it with the twist. Word. She did the twist. <laughs> he started sweating. He said, don't she do it again. With the ass eating. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. And the Scorpio. It was the Scorpio thing. Hey, Mark Kwan. Normally. She was Scorpio's done there. Yeah, that's crazy. Scorpio's done there the whole night. I mean, how much can we talk about acting? Is there anybody that you didn't work with that you would love to work with? That's my if you could question. That goes to both of you guys. Um, I mean, there's a lot of actors that I respect and really, it would be cool if we could definitely work together. Um, I used to like, um, uh, uh, Wesley, no, no, I mean, like, <laughs> I haven't seen him in too much stuff. Wesley uh-huh. Snipes, you know, like, yeah. he was the action guy, like, yo, yeah. we should do something together, that'd be cool. And, um, I like, uh, Denzel, mm-hmm. I like Leonardo DiCaprio, I like, you know, I mean, there's a bunch of people that I'd be yeah. like, yo, these dudes are dope. Uh, what's his name? Robert Downey Jr. I feel like that would be wild being on set with this dude. What's missing, do you think, in what's missing in commercial and and film and just in the whole movie world? Like, there's a lot of movies because you won't do reality TV and that's all that's out. So what, you know? But do you feel like do you feel like any like I mean, the, I feel the like diversity? That's just like, the, I mean, that's just the direction people are going these days. They like to see that. I, I I mean maybe I'm, I shouldn't use that word, but it's kind of like that ratchet, like uh, yeah, they want yeah, to you know what I mean, thing. like people fighting and drinking yeah. and just wilding. Yo, you know what I mean? It's just like yo, you know what it is. You know, to answer your first question, right about people that I worked with. I mean, I've been blessed to work with Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, I've been so blessed yeah. to work with John Carlo Esposito. Yeah. I've been blessed to work with Vincent D'Onofrio. These are some of the greats, and it's not you don't know your shit because when it's lights, camera, action. These guys are sharks. They've been in this game for long, and they can smell blood, and they can smell rookies. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So to be able to work with them and play in the same sandbox with mm-hmm. Chaz Palmateri and Paul Savino is amazing. And this goes to the reality. I mean, how many Real Housewives are you going to see? You're going to see the Real Housewives of Nigeria? <laughs> the Real Housewives of Oregon? The Real Australia. Housewives of Ghana? You know what I'm saying? Like, the Real Housewives of Dubai? It's just like... I mean, we have better narratives as people than that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm working on a bunch of different projects right now. Godfather has definitely been a springboard, but I don't, I'm not just about telling urban narratives. Like, I'm, I'm working on a, a project about D.C. in the 80s with Marion Barry and things that happened with Gogo music and all that other stuff. That's I saw that. Nobody's... I love D.C. I love D.C. Gogo, so I saw yeah. that. <laughs> I'm also working on a Sly and the Family Stone uh, Biopic. I was just fortunate to sit down with uh, Freddie Stone and Sly Stone and their family allowed me to be able to tell our version of Bohemian Rhapsody. So our shows don't just have to be, you know, Power or Godfather of Harlem. There are other stories that we can tell that are really dope. You know what I mean? So with me, I try to stay in my own lane. I'm in the HOB lane by myself. I'd rather catch a ticket than just follow anybody else. So that's how I look at it. I want to thank you guys. I think I love that you're so humble. I love that you've done so much, and you're just like dun, 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 dun. Yeah, she just did, life. She just <laughs> went left. Oh well, she's now not talking about acting. She's talking about buttholes. Like so, yeah. I like I like you for just being fun. Cause me, I'm all over the place. One minute I'm talking about fashion. I'm asking if you're married. Don't look into my eyes. So let's just I, I, yeah, don't, look, I, don't yeah. look into my eyes. I'll turn you into stone. <laughs> but um, 
I think, one, you know, I always tell you this because you're a personal friend of mine, Marquan. Again, I'm really happy for you. I just wish you so much success. Thank you. Um, I've been waiting for you to come. So this is, well, pause to that because I know <laughs> people take everything so <laughs> literal. <laughs> See what that means, right? Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. So it's, we're reaming off of Valentine's. It's been a while? <laughs> well, for me, I don't put my business out there. Well, I just say. our business. I just say, as a, as a, as a light-skinned girl with freckles, I'm not getting the door knocked down like people may think. They always think, because I am I talk about it so much. She must seven days a week, four times a day. It's always the girls who talk about it the most that have the least. That's why we talk about it, because we're just praying. We're putting it in the universe. We're like, yeah. right. And as I, once I started doing radio, people are crazy. Like, you know, I used to be the girl that, if you like me, I like you. No. Now you got to Google people. Do go second day, second day. Hey, let's go to the doctor. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so it's just, it's a lot going on. It is like the world, the prettier the girl, the more. Man, listen. It's it's real That's out why here. I tell people like them Instagram bros that be going to Dubai, man. You better watch them. They be coming back smelling like a diaper. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, no. Do you guys? <laughs> I just can't. I had a really good question and I had a brain fart because when he said, he said, he said the diaper, I thought about two girls who just posted that they went to Dubai about the text. I'm like, girl, we ain't friends. My friend just put me on. He just put me up on your game. He did. Because I've been noticing a lot of girls go to Dubai, but like they don't invite me. So it's like, I'm like, well, why? I always wanted to go to Dubai. It's on one of my trips to go, but they're like secretly going and coming back like... (laughs) <laughs> I'm we together. Go to Dubai. I want to go to Fiji and just drink the water right from the <laughs> Fiji. Let me get that from the tap. Well, a question I ask everybody because the cannabis market is super big. Are you guys gonna tap into that market? I don't smoke. I know. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get the on that. Yeah, that really investing. I don't know what the what, what the beehive feels like. What? Because <laughs> he <laughs> never see. He, he never never smoke. That's not what she asked you. Nah, I don't know. I, I don't know how, how to invest in something. Don't you have to like to invest in something? You have to know what the. You never thing smoked weed before. Never drunk coffee, smoked cigarettes, or smoked weed. You wow. Coffee? Nah, you never been about, curious about. I'm not. An, I don't have an addicting personality. Like I have to try what everybody else is doing. I've never was like that. Like I don't follow fast. But like, you drink alcohol every now and then. I'm not. A, I, if I don't want to drink, I just don't drink. I don't even like the way alcohol tastes. Wow. You. Nasty. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> they taste nasty. <laughs> Can we have some words of encouragement? If you're looking to get into the industry, because you've been at this for a long time, you didn't just um, get your break overnight. Nah, what I, gems would you like to leave I, us? I tell with? people this, like on the real, uh, you can chase your pension or your passion. There's no bunk beds in the graveyard. When you leave this world, you're leaving by yourself. There's no VIP section. There's no popping bottles. There's none of that. A lot of people want success. But not everybody's ready for success. Like, are you ready to eat ramen noodles and tuna fish because you can't afford a real meal? Are you ready to sleep on somebody's floor because you can't afford a hotel? Are you ready to take a buddy pass and hope you can get on the plane because you got a meeting at Netflix on Monday morning and Sunday you got to be there? You feel what I'm saying? It's just like you got to be ready to go out there and believe in yourself. Like, I can't tell you how to get rich. There's no template. But the only template I can tell you is to believe in yourself. And turn your circles into squares. Wow. Mr. Nelson, please, Sean. What he said. <laughs> now, I, I, I just feel like it, a lot of people are just, how do I just get the, the handoff? How do I make this just, you know, somebody hook me up. You know? yeah. It's like, yeah, we got to put in that time, got to put in that work. And nobody hooked me up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you, you, you. Work until you, you keep chipping at it yeah. until it pays off. Yeah. You know, and I mean that's what it is. And I, I I didn't just get found on the street like, oh, you should be in a movie. I went to classes. I took you know, like Absolutely. I put it in the time. Yeah, you do what you like, yeah, it's not work. like, oh yeah, everybody I says I can act, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it should kill me. Like when you say when somebody says, Hey, check the DM King, 
Everybody's a king now. No, everybody's not a king. So stop calling people kings that are really paupers. <laughs> or court justice, like on some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Every time I turn around, it's check your DM. Yo, I got this amazing idea. My man, he got caught with 30 keys. His name is uh Willie Lovelock. He's boring. Everybody know who he is. Everybody I'm like, come on, bro. Like, like, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not that. Like, where were you when I didn't have anything? Like, all of a sudden now, I'm a king, and, you know, I mean, I appreciate the love, but I want to see people put forth the effort. Yeah. Like Indeed. Sean's done, like I've done, and paid the dues before you just think that because you have access to somebody on an Instagram or a Facebook page yeah. that yeah. you have to do something. You can't say no, it's 2020. You don't have to pick up the phone for people if it's going to uh, fuck up your energy. Your peace is everything, man. So if you have energy, bad energy from a relationship, from family members, from friends, leave it alone, man, because your peace is everything. That's all you have. Right. As a creator too, because creators, that's all we have is our piece. Well, speaking wanna... of Instagram, why don't everybody give their social media again so that people can follow you? My Instagram is Marquan. That's M A R K U A N N, and on Twitter, it's the real Marquan. D A R E A L M A R K U A N N. Yeah, I'm not even on. You're not on social media? No, I'm on uh, Instagram. I'm just not on Twitter. All right, what's your Instagram? Uh, Sean Nelson. It's S-E-A-N-N-E-L-S-O-N. Simple as that. Mr. Nelson, is there anything you want to leave us with? Any projects we should look out for? Any foundations you're working with? Anything? <laughs> I got a foundation. Yes. It's called Don't Be the Hope. Okay. <laughs> and where can we donate? Is there a GoFundMe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it. Every corner. <laughs> Don't be the hope. That's the new. That's the new foundation. Any shout outs? Anything you want to say? Give any shout outs to anybody? Shout outs. You know, it's the radio shows. It's, you yeah. want to say hi, mom? <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, children. Do you have any children? Um, yes. Nice. I have one girl. Wow. So, they should be in bed right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. so, oh okay. How old are they? They are. They just turned nine. Oh wow! Hey. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You gave any children yet? Did there someone? No, I don't have any children. On the way. I have a fallopian tubes tied. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, ladies. He's still available. Get him now before the second season checks come in. Cause oh, he ain't gonna. Yeah, tell him. He ain't I, gonna I cash. I don't see no rings. I'm sitting right here next to him. I'm, I'm looking. At him. I don't see no rings. Oh no, they both take him. You know, uh-huh. he, yeah, he saw are. the look. He said, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. she asked me another question, yeah. I'm dropping the bread. I'm walking out. I'm walking out. No, no, no. no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You know what, you know what it is? Can I say, do I have, what, can I have a minute? You have a minute. Yeah, what, what it is is scary. Like, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are opportunists that are ready to exploit you, whether it be female or male. So, you know. In, in, in the age of social media, when you put your, your, your uh, personal business out there, you have to be very careful. Because there, there are women out there that poke holes in condoms. There are men out there that will poke holes in condoms. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you got you to gotta be very careful. And we're in social media where everybody thinks that you're reaching. Right. And you're not. Yeah. And you're not. Who's styling who? Mamonte Mondays. Notorious photos. You know you're coming back next Monday or whatever Monday you need to come back to have a few interviews. When that man stepped in the building nah, and I, I saw I Sean. Oh, 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 I saw the whole world I when he is. Oh, I was oh. starstruck when he came in. I was like, oh, you know. I said, oh, 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 they're here. Whole <laughs> change of the show plan. Sorry, guys. No, we, but I love we, you. You know you've been I on the show all already. Time. Yeah, yeah. Time. yeah. We hung out all last night. Yeah, thank right, you everybody right. who came that to the. SOBs was hot last night. We did high five. SOBs. Yeah. yeah. High five, I did a live photo, photo shoot. shoot last night. She has a brand. High five is the, the group. The group. Yeah, they, 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 they say. Intro. Intro. They came out of the 90s. They had a. I mean, I've been on the road with a high five. I mean, God bless the dead Tony. Tony's been on the road. Yeah, 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 Tony's Everybody else from Jeff and Buddy from Intro. Jeff was there. And um, everybody from High Five. We were on the road. I mean, I was on the road when I was 17 years Again, old. Again, tell people brother. who you're... Tell My people older brother's brother. father MC. If everybody knows who he is. And I, 
I was on the road traveling with these guys. That's why I got excited. Like, you know, she's playing hard to get, kissing game. Yeah. Come on, man. That was when real R and B music they, they was music. Sweat for that song last night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they had all the older ones. They stayed, they had they every have, woman they like was the, doing the step. They was up there like the temptation. They, 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 like, they, they, they have all the aunties out there. Yeah. Everybody was out. Oh, aunties everybody, came yeah, everybody dressed everybody. sitting up in the red dress. They came uh, with their fine ones. They had Sunday, Sunday's best. I was looking like, wow, okay, girl. Easter hats and everything. Everything. <laughs> Shoes, everything. Oh, Weed, you name long, it. They long were, gloves and your pass your elbows. Everything. They oh, came man. out ready. It was, it was <laughs> definitely a block party. Well, that was dope, it was, man. It was nice. I think that we need to start paying homage to, the, to, to groups like that. Yeah. And start giving them a platform, man, because that's what music to me was music. music. Yep. Who yeah. styling who? We're gonna end this well, with the two it. people. Back <laughs> I want to thank you guys both for coming out. Yeah, who yeah. styling who? Monte Mondays. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are with me. Tune in next week. Big shout out to Tex. You know I'm a, a KC fan now. It's my initials. I can't help it. Who styling who? Monte Mondays. Mondays are the new Fridays. Get ready for the book dictator. It's coming out. Gray sweatpants challenge. Please, guys, send me your pictures in your gray sweatpants. I won't post. Make sure you you don't don't have your house showing so you don't get in trouble when I do post it. Come on, say Monday. See you next week. Oh yeah. Let's go.